Hi, welcome to Amosmith.com. Today I'm going to introduce you to uh, a special type of die. It's called a trim die. This one here is, a, is made by Pacific. It's an older one. And this one is for the 270 Winchester. Here's the case that goes along with it. And this one here is for the 50 caliber. Uh, this is part of a three die set for the uh, 50 BMG pack that comes from RCBS. I want to show you guys how they both work. They both work the same. However, um, we are going to delve into the 50 caliber here pretty soon, so I want to get you guys ready. Okay, so here's what you need. You're gonna, if you have a trim die, you're going to need a fired case. Um, you're also going to need your die, and you're going to need a file. And you need either your lubricant or your lube pad. The way they set up is fairly straightforward, and I'm going to show you uh, a couple other things that they do as well. These are also going to be used for case farming, not so much the 51, and there's not many other cartridges you can turn to a 50, and in fact there's none, but uh, the 270 trim die is a great one for converting 30-06 into 270 Winchesters. So let's get started. Okay, with everything we start out with putting the shell holder in to the ram. Then we run the die down. I stop halfway and I run the ram up so I can mate the face of the die with the shell holder. Remember, you want that little bump on the end. Go ahead and get your either your, your lubricant out or your lube pad out. And just Roll your case across it like that and set into the shell holder. Now this is important so I'm going to do a close-up of this so you, you understand what the process is here. Okay. The way the die works is the die is hardened. It is about as hard as a file is so what happens is you run the case up and if the case is too long a little bit will be protruding out from the die. This is where the file comes in. Take the file and you go across like that. The nice thing about this, it does two things at once. It sizes the case down to um, what they call SAMI spec and it, you're allowed to trim it. You still need to decap it afterwards, but if you're going to do a 30 out 6, this is a neat way of doing it. Okay, I'm going to run a 30 out 6 up this thing. This is one of the easiest cartridge conversions you can make. The 30 out 6 is generally a little bit shorter than 270. There we have it. Just needs to be fire formed. And it's just going to move the shoulder just a little bit forward to fill in the rest of the chamber. Remember, a headspace from this part of the shoulder back. And that's how a standard trim die works. Let's do the 50. Okay, the 50 caliber set comes with this press and three die set, a priming tool, which is a um, really interesting setup, and we'll go into that a little later. And it has this giant thread in um, shell holder. This thing needs to be set right. So, I'm going to do it from this side so you can see what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and thread it in. Once you get to hear it, back it out. Now, I like having that 7 o'clock position on this thing. You don't need to use a wrench or anything. And leave it at that. Now the die itself goes in here. The standard thread collar comes out and this die goes in. This is the same type of setup as it was for the 270 but this one's for the 50. Let's see how it looks like this.
Bring the ram up. Okay, you see the collar is still unset. The die is firmly on top of it, on top of the uh, shell holder. And we give it just a, just a slight more turn just to give it that bump we want when it's set. That way we know for certain that the entire case, the entire 50 case is going to be forced up the ram into the die and fully full length resize. Otherwise you may not be able to rechamber this, especially if you're firing it out of the Barrett um, M82 semi-automatic. Um, the bolt actions aren't so much of a problem, but if you buy surplus ammunition that was fired out of an M2, these things are going to be stretched and the shoulder has to be pushed back. But we're going to use this trim die. Okay, here we are with the 50 BMG trim die. You're going to want to lube it just like you would with the other case. You know, this thing is pretty good size here. So you really want to be able to lube one at a time. Okay, go ahead and insert it into the shell holder. Run it all the way up. This takes a lot more force than the standard case because these things are really thick. They're about five and a half inches long. They're really good size. Take your file. You'll feel the resistance of the file on the brass itself. Then you have a trimmed case. This one only trimmed a little bit, just right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it helps uniform it. This will stretch a little bit more uh, as this case life continues. And depending on what you want to do with this thing, if you're really not into killing your shoulder, you can load these things down, you can shoot cast bullets out of these. But we're going to go into that at a different time, and I'm going to show you how to set up the entire 50 setup, including how to determine your overall length. We'll make an overall length gauge for the 50.